It is the DA here with Man Cave Sports here to talk about a topic we've all been kind of talking about Major League Baseball right now. Aaron Judge is on an incredible tear, hitting two runs basically every single day. Every single time he steps up, it's almost like he gets two home runs in every single at-bat. Uh, he is at 51 home runs right now and just crushing it on his way to 63. That is his pace. But it got me thinking... Um, what is the best duo in Major League Baseball history, right? So not necessarily over the course of their careers, but for one season. Him and Juan Soto are destroying it right now. So Juan Soto's got 37 home runs, almost 100 RBIs, over 1,000 OPS. But there are some incredible duos out there. And so one, th- I wanted to bring up a couple, and we maybe, maybe talk about it here a little bit. Um, some guys I played with, some guys that I definitely did not play with, but some pretty amazing duos. One to talk about here is another 40-40 man, because we know Aaron Judge, if he could actually steal a base, he'd be a 40-40 man, but he he can't move that well. But Alex Rodriguez and Ken Griffey Jr. 1998 is going to be one of our teammates that we talk about. Uh, Mickey Mantle, Roger Maris in 1961. A uh, historic year for Roger Maris. He beat uh, the great Bambino, uh, Babe Ruth. Uh, he actually finally beat um, Babe Ruth in, in home runs and with that 61 home runs in 1961. Tim and Mantle, that, that fun race. We all love the movie 61. That was a great movie and an incredible uh, uh, baseball for, for what they did. Barry Bonds, Jeff Kent. You know, Jeff Kent was the MVP that year. Bonds put up 49, and this is in year, the year 2000. And then, of course, the 1927 Yankees with Babe Ruth and Lou Gehrig. So, oh, way too many Yankees on this list. <laughs> way, way too many Yankees. This makes me feel uncomfortable. And, of course, it has to be Yankees to be the great duos. Um, but I'm sure there's some other ones. So, one, after you watch this show, let me know if you have any other ideas, any other duos you're thinking of. But to throw these numbers out here, right? So, you're talking about Griffey and A-Rod when they're out there. Griffey had 56 home runs. A-Rod, 42 home runs. Had a 40-40 season. Uh, I know Otani's a 40-40, 40-40 man right now. But that A-Rod, that season was absolutely incredible. And you look at their OPS, combined OPS of about one, sorry, 280. Okay? So that's OPS plus. So that's that's one way we can look at this, OPS plus of 280. Incredible year by both those guys. Griffey, that was an amazing year. That was the 60 home run race that Griffey was going to do. I think that year he, he had maybe eight games in a row where he hit a home run, something like that. It was absolutely nuts. Griffey is one of the greatest players of all time. And so everything he does is we got to put that on the show because he's our, he's our man. Um, not as good. Their numbers just are not as good. Now, the home runs are better, but uh, the OPS plus against the rest of the league is not as good. And maybe that might be just a matter of the league that year being so power heavy, so power centered that they're not that much better than the league that year. Um, even though I think if you put those players in this league this today, they would probably have the better numbers than Soto and Judge. So I, got, I still got to give the Soto and Judge right now at that point. When you look at Mantle and Maris, amazing year, amazing year for baseball. It's funny because Mantle has a higher war than Maris on the year, even though Maris had the, the magical 61, 141 RBIs. OPS plus, when you combine those two players, you have 370, something like that, about 370, which is pretty amazing. Okay. My only thing, though, is I, I don't know how they have um, how, how those years – like. I have a hard time. 61 and 54. That's an amazing numbers. Amazing home runs of Roger Maris hitting 61, beating Babe Ruth. I I have to give it to him. Mantle, when what he went through, especially we learned in the in movie 61, how many inju- injuries he had, everything he went to. Right now, I think that was a better duo. Those two guys than Soto and Judge right now. Um, when we look at Bonds and Jeff Kent, Bonds had 49 home runs. Jeff Kent had 33. He was the MVP of the year. He had 334. Um, amazing year for Jeff Kent. He should be in the Hall of Fame as the second baseman. I think he was one of the best second basemen I had ever seen of all time. Um, Bonds just doing his normal Bonds thing of OPS over over 1,100. Just a, st- a standard average Bonds year of 49 home runs. Only 106 RBIs. There weren't a whole lot of guys on base ahead of him because Jeff Kent was hitting all the home runs ahead of him. Um, but if you combine their OPS, they're about a 340-ish. Um, or sorry, yeah, about 340, which is high, super high. Um, you know, again, when you're looking at it, like Juan Soto and Aaron Judge, 
are about 410 right now, 416 OPS plus. But when you get to Ruth and Maris, I'm sorry, Ruth and Garrett, this is just insane. Their OPS plus, their numbers, 225 OPS for bon- for Ruth, uh, at 220 for Lou Gehrig. So you're going to have 445 OPS plus. You have 47 home runs and 60 home runs. Lou Gehrig had 173 RBIs, guys. 173 RBIs. That's not even fair. A 373 batting average. <laughs> Babe Ruth didn't win the batting title batting 356. You know, 1,200, 1200 uh, OPS. This is insane. So everything we talk about with um, Soto and Judge and the way they're hitting the baseball is amazing. But they're still not the best duo ever. And, and you got to give it that to that 1927 Yankees lineup of Ruth and Gehrig. They were just different. And it's it's absolutely amazing because uh, Lou Gehrig didn't even have the best OPS, OPS at 1,200, 1,240. Uh, Ruth at 1256, um, 1258. I mean, this is just insane numbers. So everything wants me to tell. So Soto and Judge are having an amazing year, and it still doesn't even touch and, and compare to Ruth and Gary and what they did in 1927. And a lot of it is what they did against the league. And that's the thing about it. You got to look at it, is how they compare to the league. Guys, they just absolutely killed it. So I want to know what you guys think. Send me uh, Send me comments. Throw it out there. Do you have a better duo? Or what do you think of of Ruth and Gary? Were they the best baseball duo of all time? So, uh, I again, I am the DA with Man Cave Sports.